Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be going through how to bring in the latest file from a directory tool into your Alteryx workflow. So uh, let's start with the use case here. So we want to read in the most recent file from this folder, which is a subfolder of my own personal data folder. So in this particular instance, I want to read in the most recently modified file which is always going to be the most recent COVID variance file, right? So if it's any other file that's recently modified that's not COVID, I do not want to input it into my workflow. So with that being said, how I'm going to start this is I am going to read the files from the parent directory, which is not this folder, but this folder. Or we could also read it from this folder. Wouldn't really matter in this specific use case. I can make another video covering other use cases with other subfolders. But with this, we're going to use the parent folder and we are going to include the subdirectories from my data folder, which is this one right here. So we have all these folders to read through. So let's run the workflow and I will explain this process. So we can see that we read in four files with the specification COVID. So I had my file specification to start with COVID and then have an asterisk after that. So anything starting with COVID is going to be read into the workflow. And this is also going to loop through all subdirectory folders to find that specific file. So next, I inserted a select tool just in case you want to change the column names of any of these to your liking. And the next thing you want to do is sort in descending order by creation time. So what that does is it will give you the creation time of the most recent file, or let's say you want the last modified, you can sort by the last write time in descending order. So, with this, you are going to use a sample tool after this to read in the first one record. So you're going to get your most recently created file from that directory. And then assuming they're all in the same format, let's say you get a report every day. I know this happens at work every, all the time, but let's say you get a report every day that always looks the same, but the data is different. You can read it in with a dynamic input tool. And what you're going to do is use that template. So the COVID variance template is what I use for this workflow. And that is what is going to read in based on the way that you pull in the full path from that one sample tool. So in order for this to work correctly, you need to read the list of data sources from the field full path Think about it when you use an input tool, you need to include the full path of the file, which is essentially what this is doing is dynamically inputting that file. And if I had any other action besides change entire file path, this would not work off of the full path. And now when I run the workflow, I can see the most recent file generated. So we are bringing in COVID variance for created today and it is reading in the file just like that and from there you can do whatever you would normally do in your alterx workflow thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and the next video i make is going to cover how to fully automate an alterx workflow without using alterx scheduler alterx server alterx connect or amp so stay tuned for more great content thanks for watching